So we're going to be talking about the expert sleepers Lorelei VCO. Somebody had asked if anybody knows whether it tracks well on Reddit, and I have one, and I hadn't had it installed, so I installed it and connected it to my scope here. Uh, so let's see if it tracks, and now it's been warmed up for about an hour or so. This should be a true measure of how it is when it's warm. And we're going to check out two things. One is just the cleanliness of the wave. Um, so let's take a quick look at that. We'll spread it out a little bit. And we will freeze it. Or trigger it differently. Uh, that looks pretty clean. It looks really nice. It's a little wavering on the scope. And this is now two of the signals. So the green signal and the blue signal, which matches the color on the scope, is coming from the Lorelei's uh, sine wave and then kind of a sawtooth, which, but it starts out like a sine wave when you don't touch the shape. So as I touch the shape, you'll see how they fold and one becomes a saw and one becomes a folded sign. But um, we're just going to keep them as sine waves for now. The wave is pretty clean. Now the one thing that's confusing me is this one goes up a little higher. The green especially goes up a little higher than it goes down on the scope. See the scope center there? It goes two and a half up and about two and a quarter down, which is somewhat surprising to me. I'm not sure. Maybe an expert on the forum can help me with that. Now let's look at the tuning. That's the other way to see if it tracks. So we'll go to a tuner, and I have it tuned. You can see A3 looks really good. What I tuned it to was the typical 440. And it's a little bit higher than it was when I warmed it up. So let's see if we can get it back down to 440. Teeny bit higher than it was. Whoa, that's way off. There we go, that's close enough. Oh, that's really close. Okay, that's good. So A4 is looking good. Now I'm gonna change the octave. You can see right now I'm on octave four. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna change the octave now. First up. Oh, it went out of tune. I probably touched this thing. Yeah, pointing to the other knob, I touched it. Versus. Okay, so we're now pretty close to 440. Oh gosh, this is so annoying. It doesn't have a fine tune, unfortunately. Okay, there you go. Now I'm not going to touch it again. And we're only going to touch the octave. First, we're going to go up A5. It's a little teeny bit off. It should be 880. It's 881, 882. 440 is still close. I go back up. I'm going to go one more octave up to A6. And it goes a little bit off there. Not much when you get into those high frequencies. That's not too bad, but it's, it's off. That's good, A5. A4 is good. Now let's go down. A3 should be 220. That's really good. That's super close. Rounds to 220 easily. A2 should be 110, and it's super close. A1 should be 55, and again, super close, but it starts going up a little bit now. It's off a little bit, so let's go back and forth between A1 and A2 again. A2, A1, a little bit. Now when I go to zero, it's just going to be more off, yeah. But in my experience, that's what's been happening, so. But not bad. At A2, certainly, and A1 almost. Yeah, A1's pretty good. A2, A3, A4... A5, and then A6 goes off. So 1 through 5 is pretty good. Um, and uh, that's it. And you can hear it in the background. It must be super annoying. You can see the shape of the wave. Let me just go back to that so you can see what it looks like on the scope. When I take the shape and I turn it up. And again, no modulation. I'm not, I don't have any other modulation coming in, not even a volt per octave in, input. But let's change the shape now. I'm going to turn that up a little, and you'll see it fold. 
The sign is a, just a folded sign, and the sawtooth starts coming out. You can start seeing the sawtooth. Sounds better, it's really annoying when there's no envelope. I'm just setting up the envelope here. There we go. And there's the shapes. And I'll turn on for you this third, which is a square wave. I'll turn these off so you can see that better. And that square wave with the shape changes the pulse width. That's not what you're hearing though, sorry. I don't even have that plugged in. But it sounds uh, like a square wave. That's it. Hope that helped.